Hello and welcome. We're doing a short book haul because I had some really good luck at a thrift store and decided that if, since I'm having really good luck at this thrift store, I need to go to my favorite antique mall and see if I can carry that luck over into their book section because I have found some amazing sci-fi books at Design and Consign. And today was no different. So <laughs> I'm gonna save um, the best book for last, but uh, I guess I should maybe, should I keep these all together? Yeah, let's keep them all together. All right, so we're gonna start with Isaac Asimov. I found this book, Asimov's Robots. It's just a collection of eight robot short stories. And this is the cover that is being, that, that's also my light box, but <laughs> there you go. Very, very pretty cover. And, Excited to read that. I've actually never read any Isaac Asimov. I know uh, you guys will also be disappointed with me in a minute because I'll tell you I haven't read anything from this other author. Uh, I have, however, read Robert Silverberg and I picked up this Born with the Dead with this beautiful cover. So I'm very interested to read this because it also seems to have a little bit of fantasy element in it as well. At the funeral, he kissed her lightly on the lips, then surrendered her body to the dark-clad men in the van. She had asked in her will to be rekindled, and he knew he would never see her again. In those days, the deads kept strictly to themselves in the cold towns, rarely venturing out and mingling with the worms. I, I definitely, between the cover and that, I had to read it. Um, there is a... YA novel called The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, and I really liked that book. So I feel like that's going to give me kind of similar vibes. I then found Invaders from Earth by Robert Silverberg as well. It's not focusing because it hates me. I promise it's cool. It's a cool cover. I'm going to put a picture of it over here so you can see it. It's got some faces, give me very Wizard of Oz type vibes on a city. And Kennedy had a job to do. It was as simple as that. He was paid to do a job and he did it. Wow. Here's this book. Excited to read another Silverberg. I have never read anything from Robert Heinlein. I have heard my friend Matt over at Book Pilled talk about Heinlein. And then as soon as I put out my video, on uh, my last video, my uh, my friend Donna was like, have you read Heinlein? And I'm like, all right, look, there's two people that are like, you should read Heinlein. So I'm sure people are screaming at me right now in this video telling me, yeah, you should read Heinlein. How have you not? Uh, I got three books by Heinlein, so don't worry, I'm going to fix that soon. I've got Methuselah's Children with some rocket ships on it. So there's that one. I also got this one. I love this cover. It's so pretty. It's called Beyond This Horizon. Like a nice little like gun and stained glass feel. It's very pretty. And then I have The Glory Road. Not to be confused with The Glory Hole. That is a filthy joke and I am only mildly sorry for it, so. I know that <laughs> joke in this outfit and this face don't match, but. <laughs> Glory Road uh, by Robert Heinlein. Excited to read that. And then, oh, man, just the piece de la resistance. I found Mavel. I found a, a paperback copy of Mavel by Robert Merle. And I just, look, this this artwork right here is giving me uh, the Guild vibes. Like, doesn't that artwork just scream the Guild? If, you've, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Guild is a web series that was created by Felicia Day. And that's pretty much what the artwork looks like on the front. <laughs> like, in, in the series, too. But... This book uh, 
even in as rough shape as it is in and a paperback, this book is worth $20 plus shipping if you buy and sell books at all. Uh, the hardcover of this book, be on the lookout for that. I will put that cover up here because those are worth like $75 to $100. But very excited. And uh, this will, once I, I'm going to read all of these before I put them up for sale. I, I don't hold on to paperbacks. I, I'm more of a catch, read, and release for paperbacks. But I'm very excited to catch, read, and release all of these, and I will tell you my thoughts on them at some point in a video. But I'm very excited to read this. Uh, I got all of these for $10, and like I said, this one will more than cover my reading addiction. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video where I will review something. Bye! Bye.